can 400 watt of bifacial solar panels output more than 500 watts of regular panels? Today we're going to find out the answer to that. So I have four 100 watt bifacial panels by Ecoworthy. I'm going to see how well they do against two 250 watt used panels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them both up. I have them track the sun, have them go into my EP Everett charge controller, and we'll see every hour which one has the most amount of energy, and at the end of the day, we'll see what the total was. So we'll see morning, midday, late afternoon, and we'll see does four 100 watt bifacial panels by Ecoworthy beat two 250 watt used regular panels? We're going to find out the answer. Each array is now set up. They're both set up in series. So I have four up front in series and two in the back in series. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm going to start taking measurements. They both are in slightly shaded conditions and we'll just track it during the day. See what we get. I just took my 11 o'clock reading and both of them are doing well. They're almost out of the shade. I think by next time, they'll be in full shade and be pointing perfectly south. They are both at the correct tilt, 55 degrees for where I live. But I wanted to point out something. The panels in the back, the old fashioned ones, are considerably bigger. They're 11 feet long in this setup and over three feet tall, where the bifacials are eight feet long and less than three feet tall. So the bifacials take up a considerably smaller footprint. So let's see who is gonna produce the most energy. The test is done, but it's incomplete. What I was doing was going out every hour and writing down the watts. So that was telling me which one was most efficient and which one was putting out the most amount of energy at that moment. But it wasn't telling me which one created the most amount of energy for the day. So what I did is I did a second test. I tested each array for a full day attached to my Victron charge controller because that'll track the energy that was created. The downside is the Victron only does 12 volt. So what I did is I cut the test in half. One 250 watt panel, the old ones, and then two bifacials, so 200 watts of the bifacials. Now let's go over the numbers. On day one, and it was clear all day, about 50 degrees, the bifacial had the most efficiency. It peaked out at 374 watts and 94% efficiency. Now the old fashioned panels actually had one time where they actually outputted more energy, which you would expect because they are, you know, 100 watts more panels. But the efficiency was 77%. So they did 383 watts at noon for 77% efficiency. Now let's go to day two, or day two and day three, I guess, actually. I took one array, ran it all day, from about the same time in the morning till about the same time at night. Then the next day I ran the second array about the same time in the morning, about the same time at night. The days were about the same. This isn't scientific. They weren't exactly the same, but the clouds were roughly the same. And the temperature was roughly the same, about 75 degrees on average for both of those days. That's as close as I can make it. And now let's look at those numbers. So the old fashioned panel, the 250 watt panel, did 830 watts of energy for that day. The bifacial, the two bifacials, did 970 watts of energy that full day. So the bifacial was 90% and the old fashioned was 70%. And I didn't move them around. I put them direct south, the right tilt, and I let them go. So I didn't rotate them and follow the sun that day. They were set in position. So the bifacial did roughly 15% more energy for the day. So the bifacial is the winner here, which is to be expected. Um, but I was impressed with the old fashioned ones. I mean, 77% efficiency is not bad for those old used panels. So if anyone has any questions about what you saw, please leave a comment below. I'm gonna to link to all of the data if anyone's interested in that, uh, but definitely leave a comment um, if there's something I missed or you're something you're not sure about. Um, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. 
really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to everyone soon.